I feel like I've lost all sense of routine recently, but the one thing which I have stuck by is my skincare routine, which I am so happy about because I feel like my skin has genuinely never been so clear and bright and moisturized even during like all this exam and dissertation stress. So I'm very excited to be working with Trent on this video. They stock an amazing range of vegan, cruelty-free, popular Korean skincare brands. I feel like I've got my routine down to a T. Super simple, natural ingredients. So my first step, I've shared this with you guys a bunch of times. I use the low pH good morning gel cleanser. This is just so gentle, it leaves my skin feeling really soft and not stripped away. I have normal skin, but my friend who has acne prone skin also loves this, so I would highly recommend. And then I've been using the BioWish Trend Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. This is a super gentle exfoliating toner. I love this because it leaves my skin feeling really soft and glowy. It removes a lot of the dead skin cells and it's also just really good if you have sensitive skin because it's not irritating. You can use a cotton pad with it, but I just put it on my hands. I know I said in my last skincare video that I was looking for a good PM moisturizer and I absolutely love this. This is the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. Again, really gentle and soothing. It's this really nice like blue color um, and it leaves my skin feeling very hydrated and moisturized. And the last product which I want to share you guys is the Claire's Freshly Juice Vitamin Drop. This is a vitamin C serum. I like using this in the mornings before my moisturizer and sunscreen, um, but I can also use it in the evenings if I'm not using an exfoliating toner because I know you're not really meant to mix vitamin C and AHA. I love this so much. I have used quite a lot of it already. I just feel like my skin has been so much brighter. It really helps with like dull complexion, hyperpigmentation, which trend have also been so lovely to give me a discount code for you guys. So if you use the code MOYA20, you can get 20% off your full order up until June 23rd. They are also doing a cruelty-free promotion at the moment where you can get 40% off products and free expedited shipping over $100. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. I absolutely adore these products, so would highly recommend and go check them out. I'll leave everything linked down below. Okay guys, well, there's been some new developments. Look at this! Yay. Some new developments! <laughs> That's not a vlog! New online. developments! <laughs> I feel like I'm like not used to public vlogging because I just haven't been out. But... We're out! Yeah, things are open in Dublin-ish. What was it? Shops. Museums. No, it's up here. Shops, museums. I think that's it. The shop's open. Anyway, we're going that to the gallery. It. We're going to the Royal Hibernian Academy Gallery, which I've never been to. Um, we're so cultural. We're so fun and yeah. educated. We're gonna go look at some art. Take you along. This is actually such a cute area of Dublin. It's very nice. It's very cute. Yeah. Oh my god. The statue's never looked so pretty. Do you know anything about it? She's not even alive. 
Don't miss Molly. I miss <laughs> um, cockles and mussels are live, live -o. Oh, pretty. Um, Avi has decided to go get a piercing. Very spontaneously, it started raining. So, we're in St. George's Arcade. Um, I think she's getting her second cartilage done. No person for me. Finally had tempeh in the Asian market. I swear they've been out of stock of this for like too long, too long. Um, also got some udon, some vermicelli. Gonna make some kind of ramen with the fried tofu. So you are amazing. Um, good morning guys I literally just woke up so haven't spoken yet my face is very puffy um, it's Cass birthday though today which is so exciting we're gonna have a little garden party in one of the parks um, yeah like I haven't really come and talked on this vlog yet I don't think so I I'm so over the place as always, I swear I never have my shit together and this week more apparent than ever. All I want to do is lie in bed and watch Vincenzo and like have takeaways. But the world is opening up again and I have to be social and it just feels really weird. Like I've never been so tired in my whole entire life. Like I'm exhausted um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I'm filling in this, but it's interesting. My hair is crying. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Let's hype ourselves up. I just sent a message to my manager. Um, yeah. I think what I need to do is tidy my room that's first agenda um and then i'll like wrap cast present look how cute the bunting looks oh my gosh and we've also got these like paper lantern things from sauce and grand <gasps> oh my god fun i think we might hang we should hang one from the light yeah. in the center And they've got little paper clips to. Uh, yeah. mm. Almost a bit much. Yeah. Still, we've got lots of options. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm obsessed. I'm just loving it. Oh, she's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, she's so cute. So pretty. Time. Smiley face. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Why is Taylor Swift always playing in the background when <laughs> it's like in our blood? Cass got some edible flowers for the cake. It's gonna look so pretty. I'm about to get ready for Cass's birthday. We just set up the living room. It looks so cute. The cake. Oh my gosh. Cass in the other room getting ready with Cass at the minute. But it is so beautiful. We got edible flowers. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to 
Ivy Gardens, I think, for a bit and have some drinks with our friends outside. And then we'll probably just come back here for a few more drinks. I think this is gonna be the last like event that we have in Dublin before Kath and Cass go back to London. They're going home this weekend, um, I think on Saturday, which is really sad and I feel like that's gonna be like the first of like my friends to go back home. Um, even though I am gonna be in London for summer, I know I haven't really like updated you on my post-grad plans because I just like didn't think about it. Right dissertation and then during exams and stuff, I was just like, I'll plan that after. But at the start of June or end of May, I'm going to move out of my Dublin flat and bring all my stuff back to Belfast. Um, my parents will probably come down with the car and then I think Abby's also going to help move everything back up because we've only got like a really small car and I have a lot of stuff unfortunately. I feel like I've accumulated a lot of things um, and like I bought a chair and a desk so I don't know if I'm going to leave those here or bring them back to Belfast. Then after that, I'm gonna come back down to Dublin with Abby. Abby is also from London, so we're gonna help her move out of her Dublin apartment. And um, because she has her car in Dublin, we're gonna get the ferry over back to London and we're both gonna drive together. And I'll also have brought a suitcase from Belfast of all the stuff I'm gonna take to London. This is all very confusing. Um, but yeah, basically I'll be going to London with Abby whenever she moves out probably first week of June I think we're gonna book a ferry for like the 8th then I will stay in I think just her family home for a few weeks I love her parents so much her family are lovely and um, they're very kind to let me stay for a bit and then I have a flat that I'm subletting in July I actually got it through I put up like a little story on Instagram asking if any of you guys knew anyone who was subletting or was looking for a place to cover for summer and find two really really sweet girls i'm so excited to move in with them for the month i feel like it's gonna be so much fun the apartment is like insane such a great location the rent is such good value it's basically the same as what i'm paying in dublin um so then i'll be in london for the month of july and then august i'm not sure yet i am excited to have a few drinks celebrate Cass. I love that girl so much. Um, you guys know her from my first ever YouTube video. Like she was in my Croatia vlog. Literally one of my favorite trips I've ever taken. Um, and yeah, it's been so nice to live with her this year. And I'm so happy that like she lives in London. So I don't really have to like properly say goodbyes to Cass or Cass um, this weekend. <laughs> For part of Kath's present, I got her a copy of Evelyn Waugh's Vile Bodies. This is hands down one of my favourite books of all time and I know that she really likes the way that he writes. She wrote an essay on Brides I've Revisited um, for one of her last essays and I don't think she's read any of his other works. So I thought it'd be fitting. I'm just gonna like write a little message at the front. Today's outfit. Um, this corset was handmade by the lovely Lulabelle. I'll have it like linked. I did have to take it in a little bit. Um, I think usually you have like some skin showing, but it is so cute. Um, just wearing some jeans from Zalando. I think they're weekday. And Doc Martens. Okay, gotta go.